it. <laughs> I love spring. I was born in spring. I have the personality of a small excited lamb, but it feels to me like so far it's been particularly rainy this spring, particularly grey, particularly cold. I've had the excitement of the primroses and the daffodils and all the lovely wildflowers, but then spring has yet to actually spring. Normally, at this time of year, I get an absolute flurry of creative excitement. As soon as there's green back in the world, you have to wrestle the green paint from my hands. <laughs> but so far this year, I've just been having a bit of a creative slump. I'm going to try to fix that, hopefully. Try to be creative and have fun and try to channel the excited little lamb that's usually in me. <laughs> Pochard box back in December or January in the depths of winter basically and I was desperate to use it but it turned out I was too much of a wuss to try it out. <laughs> I have always really wanted to paint outside more and the sun's out today so I thought I would give it a little test run. I don't know if my um, microphone's good enough for me to do some nice ASMR sounds with this, let's see. <laughs> I don't know. There's room to store two canvases up here and there's a built-in palette here but you can't take it out to clean it not that i ever clean my palettes anyway but um i don't really want to ruin it <laughs> so underneath i've brought my own palette and my paints and yeah i'm just gonna give it a little go see how see how it fares see how i fare with it <laughs> You join me on the floor in goblin mode. <laughs> Sometimes I worry that the nature of making nice, wholesome, happy videos is that they make your life look really idyllic. My life's good, I like my life, but um, there's a fair amount of sitting on the floor with greasy hair, uh, being a bit stressed. Tomorrow morning I'm running a stall at a market and I'm really underprepared. I've realised I've got a ridiculous amount of original paintings I don't know if people buy original paintings at markets, but I thought I'd try. I've got cards, I've got prints, I've got postcards. I don't know why I've done markets before, but I feel really, like, nervous for this one. It'll be fine. Anyway, I'm going to stick some music on and get to it.
think that's it. It's eight o'clock. It's dark. I've got two very heavy bags of art stuff. I'm doing that thing where I'm kind of like calculating in my head like, oh look, I've spent so many hours getting prepared for this and so many hours uh, doing the painting and I've spent this much money on the stool and I'll be this long at the stool and will it all work out and will it be worth it and I don't know. Um, I don't know why I feel so stressed about this one. I just do. Um, it'll be great fun. I know it. It'll be lovely. I think I've been like such a um, <laughs> chronically online artist that whenever I show my art like in person and I'm there next to it I just feel really... Ooh. I don't know why because people are always nice. Um, it's, it's always good but it just makes me nervous. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. That went actually really well. I sold an original. I've never sold an original at a market before. <laughs> so I don't know, I was stressing about nothing. It was great, it was a lovely day. I made back the money on my stall. I earned enough to get myself a kebab for lunch and then some. And despite my social anxiety, it was also really nice to just have a chat to lots of other local makers and people who are interested in local makers. All round good fun. Would do again, but also will definitely still panic on the floor again. And now, because I realised as I got stuff together for this market how many originals I have, my task is to photograph them and put them up on my website. I don't have room for all these paintings. They've got to live somewhere. <laughs> is the current state <laughs> of the studio. It's definitely seen better days. <laughs> this has been used as plant storage for the past six months. I hardly even know where to start with the clear up. <laughs> I'm having a bit of an art crisis. We made it to spring. We made it to actual real spring where there's sun and things. And now I'm having an art crisis. Crisis is a little bit strong a term. I'm just having like a, I don't know, I'm a bit lost. I'm really feeling like I need to up my game somehow. That it's time for a bit of like a, a change of some sort, but I just don't know what. I'm getting a bit bored. Um, I think this is normal. <laughs> Throw pain or just strip it down. Cold bullshit, I'm blending. Five muses and don't compare. A true life will fill your cup. 
been sitting here unfinished since March. It's the end of May now, the daffodils are long gone, and I need to finish this. I think the reason that I've not been working on it is that I've been scared to overwork it. Like right now, I kind of really like this weird scratchy grass here, and I'm scared that by putting all this detail in here, I need to add more detail here. But I don't want to, I like it like this. But there's definitely something about it that seems unfinished. So I've got to try and figure that out. Let's see how we go. my trusty sketchbook I have made a list of the things that I want to do this summer. More artist studies because I haven't been to art school and if a teacher's not going to make me do it I'm going to make myself do it. I've actually just been through this book of impressionists artwork and I've earmarked all the paintings that I really like and I want to try and figure out why I really like them. Besides artist studies then I want to paint outside more. I've been doing it more recently. I love it. I'm terrible at it. It's so hard. It's so much harder than painting from a photo. I've just written here, something big. Um, these big canvases. I want to use one this year. I'm so scared of them. And finally, uh, purpose. I don't think there's anything wrong with painting things because you just want to paint them, because they're just nice. There's nothing wrong with that, but I don't feel like my paintings necessarily have enough meaning to them. What does it do for me? Like, why Why am I painting it? Do you know what I mean? I don't think I know what I mean. I, I don't know. It's just a minor, it's just a little, just having a little crisis. But it's fine. It'll be fine.